In our waka, our team, there's room for fun and a sense of humour, but there are some things we have no room for. And it's up to you to call out the things we don't have room for, like harm of any form. There is a spectrum of harm, but it is called harm for a reason. It affects our physical and mental health. We take it home with us and it affects our whānau and friends. We already deal with some tough situations that cause trauma, and experiencing harm in the workplace can make those situations worse. You never really know what's going on for the people around you. One of the main forms of harm is bullying. Bullying is repeated and unreasonable behaviour that can create risk to your safety, health or well-being. Here's a real example of bullying experienced by one of our team. I didn't even notice it at first, but then it hit me. I wasn't being invited to important meetings with information that I needed to do my job. I started feeling isolated and my performance started to suffer. I thought about leaving and then the public humiliation started. A few times at meetings, my managers would call me out on my work without giving me feedback first. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. There's no room to treat people like this in our team. Here are some other examples in the spectrum of bullying. Don't wait for someone else to step in. If you see the harm, stop the harm. Another type of harm there's no room for is harassment. Harassment can also take many forms. It can be verbal, physical or visual, and is often based on someone's race, gender, sexual orientation or age. It can be repeated over time or significant one-offs. Here's another real example of our team experiencing harm. My first day here, Someone made a derogatory joke about me. It stuck and spread to the rest of my team, who all used it too. Then it became my nickname, but not a nickname I liked. It was funny once or twice, but it's not funny anymore. It's not just about the nickname. It's a constant negative reminder of my experience here over the years. It wears me down, eh? Other examples include unacceptable language and jokes, inappropriate pictures and texting, and touching without consent. Just like bullying, there's no room for harassment of any kind in our waka. There are plenty of ways that we can support each other and stop the harm. We all have room to improve, so reflecting on your own behaviours and talking about what is and isn't okay is a good start. Be an upstander, not a bystander. If you see something that doesn't sit right with you, speak up and take action to support others. One person can make a difference. If you see someone who looks uncomfortable or upset, check in with them. Listen and be available. Raise issues early with leadership or through our many support channels. Finally, it's important to know how you react to stress. Make your own well-being a priority and maintain a healthy lifestyle. We have support available if you need it. Together, we are creating a new standard of what's acceptable on our team. Stepping into our waka and living our values is a way for all of us to start. Everyone in one canoe, with no exception. He waka e kinoa. <laughs>